George, welcome to Doncaster Rovers. How pleased are you to have joined the club? Yeah, buzzing. Um, it's been good already. I've uh, did medical the other day, uh, met you lot, uh, met for quite a few staff, and um, it's been good crack. And first session like, under the belt, lads have been quality. How's this come about then? When did you first hear about Rovers' interest? About two weeks ago, um, the gaffer rang me. I think he got my number off someone. We had a little conversation, and then I came and met him and Cops. Um, went like went through a few things, and I just like enjoy not enjoy. I, I enjoy like the conversation we had and how honest they were and I think that was a big selling point for me. 12 goals while on loan at Walsall last season. I assume there was a fair bit of interest in securing your signature on a permanent deal. So why was Doncaster Rovers the right club for you? It was like a combination of things, like the uh, playing style, the people there. They just come down from League One, so you're expecting to like, be pushing them back up there. Um, and it's just, it's a good club, isn't it, really? That's been Doncaster. There's a lot of worse places you can be, so I'm looking forward to getting started. What did last season do for you in terms of your confidence and, I suppose, playing week in, week out? Out as well, yeah. Um, played like the first time I probably played a week in, week out properly. I've never done like a full season before, that was always on like loan six months in and out and stuff. I had uh, Matt Taylor and Michael Flynn, they was class with me, and I think I grew up like as a person. Uh, like, I learned a lot playing, and I was a person who was relied on, so I enjoyed that. And I think I can be the same here. Knowing the division as well, coming here now, as you said, the, the club wanting to, to bounce straight back. A lot of the players that were here last season are here for the new one as well, as you I assume, that League Two knowing the division you, you'll know exactly what to expect yeah it's awful <laughs> no like it's just you, you, you like it's hard to, hard to say really like you you know, the, you know what it's going to be about a lot of it's a lot of simple things you don't have to be too fancy like going away to like horrible places on Tuesday nights and cold you've got to learn to win like and it's, it's all about like these philosophies and stuff like that but at the end of the game it's getting like three points and wins in the meetings you've had with a manager where did he sort of pinpoint the areas of your game that I suppose are good and where he feels he, he can take you to the next level yeah but um, like Ian uh, he spoke about quite a few things um, but one big thing he was saying he was like he don't want to change me and that's a big key point he wants to enhance my like, positive parts and, and make me better at them so that's like a major thing where you don't want to be like, trying to fit like a round peg in a square hole you don't want that do you? Looking at a fair few of your goals last season there's a lot of you on the shoulder chasing down what maybe looked like lost causes do you feel that like that's your game in a nutshell chasing things down that maybe some people wouldn't? Yeah I think a lot of time because um, we didn't do as well as we, we expected was pending a lot so uh, like when you turn defense is getting behind them. I think that's where I can use my pace and uh, getting behind teams on them rather than like playing in front of teams. You signed just in time for the, the first day of pre-season. How have you found it? Sort of blowing the cobwebs off. Yeah, I should have left it a day. Should now we just done like a like sort of a bleak test thing. Then it was tough, but it's good to get like first day in with the lads and then you're in it together. Then from the start, you're not coming in and being like a bit part of it. They get to know you, and you know them. Is it easier having that first day because everybody's sort of catching up a little bit, aren't they, with it, with each other? So as you said there, you're not coming in three, four weeks into pre-season. Everybody's got the feet under the table yeah. you're in from day one and everyone knows your face exactly yeah. in from day one meeting new lads new lads are wanting to find out about you I suppose like Harrison Biggins got along with him well already and he's in the same boat with me he's just signed on it so it's just good set of lads good set of Nor like quite a few northern lads in there which helps being around so it's a uh, good going yeah you've been at Barnsley as well you know the, the South Yorkshire patch did that make it a little bit easier you know the sort of area you can I hope playing. it's not like Barnsley yeah. Um, but yeah it was uh, <laughs> it's good been been good coming here I've got a few friends around here Al Mawat and people like that I can like lean on if I need anything around here and everyone is like offered to help me so mm. why I'm travelling if I'm travelling over or staying here um, it's just all like good people and that's what you want you mentioned speaking to you on Friday you know Adam Clayton yeah. as well he's certainly a character within the dressing room did seeing him and, and having a familiar face make things a little bit easier as well this morning yeah he's the first person I actually the only lad who I knew like you know previously other than playing against lads um, so it's nice having Clay he's probably not even spoke to him yet he's too busy messing about isn't he so <laughs> I spoke to the other lads and getting along with them all well he seems to be no idiots mm. what, what can the Rovers fans expect from you then we've seen a few of your goals but in terms of week in week out for anyone who's not seen you play just yet what can they expect from you in a Doncaster Rovers shirt I think every Saturday I'll give it everything like, I'm, I'm, like sometimes I might be naff but uh, I'll, run, I'll run my socks off work hard and I think that's what you can expect really